Farmers across the Midwest say heat and drought hurt their pumpkin crop, which affects a whole slew of products down the line. NBC News correspondent Noah Pransky has details on how extreme weather can impact pumpkins and other popular fall produce. Tis the season for pumpkin everything. Pumpkin lattes, pumpkin carvings, pumpkin babies, David S. Pumpkins. We just can't get enough. But for some of the pumpkin producers, it's not a gourd time. You're at the mercy of Mother Nature, so it's hard to plan and you do the best you can. See, pumpkins need sun, soil, and water. They're like 90% H2O. And by some estimates, they need at least an inch a week. So when there's not enough, it can radically limit pumpkin production. We found out pretty early in the year that our reservoir supplies were pretty low and we were only gonna get about half the water we normally get on a normal year. This summer was Earth's hottest on record, according to NASA. And some parts of the U.S. South and Midwest saw exceptional drought, a problem only hastened by climate change. Everything's a money game. You know, I don't want to put money in, not get a return on it. So I had made the decision right off the bat to plant half, probably 60 percent of what I normally would do, just in case I would have to irrigate up if it was a hotter summer. The AP reports some farmers lost 20 percent or more of their expected yield. The patches were spared, though, in much of Illinois, the nation's top pumpkin producing state. We came out okay. There are spots in Illinois that struggled just like other areas of the country. But in our highest yielding areas for pumpkins, we ended up pretty consistent than we have in the years past. Looking forward, the Illinois Farm Bureau says farmers are investing more in irrigation now to protect pumpkins in a future where they don't know how much heat or water to expect. And it's not just pumpkins that farmers are trying to keep out of peril. With the price of your Thanksgiving plate already inflated from the last few years, some turkey farms now find themselves battling bird flu as they try to keep up with holiday demand. And then there are the ongoing challenges with Christmas trees too. In any kind of orchard, it's really important to understand that you have to forecast 10 to 15 years in advance. It's not necessarily that you can't continue producing something, but you might have to look at a different variety that has different temperature requirements. America's farmers doing their best to stay ahead of climate change and preserve those holiday traditions. Noah Pransky, NBC News.